I have AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I get it. I mean, the cancer meme on YouTube, but whatever. It makes sense because it's, you know, you're analogizing shitty content, cancer's shitty. I get it, but cancer kills a fuckload of people still. AIDS, not really, you know? AIDS is like pretty under control. It's like pretty, it's inconvenient, you know, if you have it. Listen, I get that AIDS still kills people in, in countries where they don't have access to proper care, but you, you see what fucking, you get the fucking point, so shut up. So I feel, you know, a little more comfortable memeing about AIDS than I do about cancer. So that's, that's how I thought I'd start this video. Uh, fucking, what, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a terrible YouTuber. First things first, I just want to thank Colossal is Crazy. Fuck duck. I prefer chicken. A, yes, because he's endorsed me on Twitter. Endorsed me on Twitter. On Twitter. And Imagine me and you. I do. I think about you day and night. It's only right to think about the clown I love and hold him tight. So happy together. I fucking really appreciate him as a content creator. I think he makes good content and he also gives back to the community. So thank you, Colossal. I, I truly mean that. Uh, you're a good fucking bloke. That brings me to another point. So since a lot of the people I watch uh, and associate with in the community community. <laughs> I said community community. I meant commentary community. That's just the Jameson talking. Uh and associate with in the community community from like the UK or Britain or some shit, right? And their accents, fucking love them to death. Great accents, makes being a commentator even cooler. Like I could listen to Colossal, I'm Alex, fucking Chubbs. I could listen to these fucking assholes talk all day long. Wouldn't, wouldn't even need a break, right? But it's also kind of making me start saying things like, hey lad, fucking nice video, mate. And I'm not even, I'm not even gonna fucking, I'm gonna own up to it. Oh, look at that fucking ostrich cunt. She's really taking the piss, isn't she? <laughs> I've never, I'd never heard that in my life till about a month and a half ago. And I, I've already, I've already caught myself saying it. I'm not gonna stop either. I fucking, I love it. I think it's great. So fuck off. Fuck off, mate. Take the piss. So, Nick Cash versus Leafy is here, right? Round Fight. This, everyone's fucking got their dicks out, swinging them around, talking about it in the community. It's a fucking huge deal. Either Nick's a snake or fucking Leafy's a cunt. I mean, oh, he clearly, I mean, it kind of shines a light. Like, Leafy is, he is a cunt, right? Like, that's, we've all kind of come to that conclusion. And I say this, I say this coming from a perspective where I, I, I'm not at 4.8 million subs. I don't know what it's like to have that kind of influence. But I think when you get to that point... <laughs> You know what, as I'm editing this, I'm realizing how big of a bag of hot air I am in this video. I recorded this the other night, um, had a couple Jamesons, and I just, I go on for like fucking seven minutes, where, and what I've been doing, so i actually put the timeline up right now so you can see what I'm talking about. And it's just, it's stupid, like, the, the, the only benefit of being slow at uploading is because you realize sometimes when you're trying to be relevant just how fucking lame it is. So instead of just yapping on about this fucking nonsense conflict, uh, I'm just going to cherry pick you know, what I think is maybe the, the most relevant statement about the whole thing. But I, I ultimately don't care. I don't know. Like, Nick money grabbed and Leafy doesn't... I, fuck. I don't know. I don't care. I'm just going to stick to... I'm going to stick to writing songs and shit and fucking... Bye. Stick to showing you my nipples. You want to see that shit? Nah, you fucking, you got to pay for those fucking tits, bitch. So fuck you. All right, I'm going to figure out how to figure the fucking figure shit. I can't even talk. I hate when I'm not scripted. I'm going to I'm gonna figure out how to finish this video up and then, uh, and then, you know, I, I, if I make it 10 minutes, it'll be a miracle, but I don't make ad revenue at this point anyway. So you guys can all stop looking at my dirty room. Fuck off. All right. <laughs> Now my biggest qualm with Leafy is the fact that he I just doesn't don't feel like he gives back to the community at all, right? And I try to play devil's advocate. No matter who it is, I'm thinking, you know, this person fucked up. They did this. Why did they do that? How can we justify that? And in Leafy's case, he's a fucking young kid. He's 20 years old. I know a lot of you watching this are probably that age. 
But when you are that age, in all of a sudden, in the course of however long it was, a year, year and a half, go from irrelevant YouTuber to making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month to having all of this power and all of this influence, that's going to fucking twist your brain a little bit. That is going to put you in a different place that maybe if you're not prepared, if you don't have the moral foundation to deal with that, it's going to expose certain weaknesses in your character. And I think for him, he's pretty selfish. Clearly, he doesn't give a fuck about giving back to the community as much as he tweets the gay shit to, this, to the e-girls that, you know, tweet him. Thank you guys for all this. He doesn't truly like to put the spotlight anywhere else but on himself, and that's pretty apparent. And that's part of the reason why I, I kind of get why Nick made the video. Now, when you bring the whole money situation into it, where Nick uh, stood to gain a lot, to take his career from just kind of a new YouTuber being able to support himself full time, this is gonna kind of push him right up into the fucking next level of YouTuber to making that next level money. And just to show you an example of what I mean by taking it to the next level, I'm gonna show you a quick scroll of his social blade statistics accompanied by me narrating uh, over the top of it. Oh, okay, you know, it's not that bad. Oh, oh, now, oh my God, that, Jesus, baby, keep, oh yeah, oh okay, my God, oh my God. Oh, oh my right. God! Tell yeah, keep going. Oh, look, oh, head. just a look. Yeah, oh, my motherfucker! Um, <laughs> gay. I don't want to be a part of this stupid fucking YouTube drama bullshit. Suck a dick, mate. <laughs> Listen, I'm just having fun memeing a bit. I don't really think Nick is a bad guy, nor do I know him very well to begin with. I think it's easy to make assumptions after seeing how fucking massively the video blew up, but I think there's also a very real chance that he just wanted to get that shit off his chest without having some sinister ulterior motive on the back burner. The reality is no one really knows except him, and ultimately, who fucking cares? Let's just meme the fuck out of it and shut the fuck up already. I mean, use your brain, think critically, and then, you know, come to your own conclusion about the situation and make 10 gameplay videos talking about it to try and snatch a few trending topic views out of the sky before that shit vanishes. Now that right there is YouTube 101. You better swallow two of those and wake up and call me in the morning when you've reached 200,000 new subscribers. <laughs> Well, that's going to do it for uh, this uh, biannual upload from Leon Lush. Uh, do me a favor and hip thrust that like button into submission. Then head on over to Twitter for a retweet so I can break maybe $1 of ad revenue this month. And then after that, you're, uh, you're off the hook and you can just get back to making Minecraft Let's Plays or stale fat memes about the fuckers on Twitter. Oh, oh, and also I made a little song about this situation earlier this week. It's been traveling around Twitter a little bit, but in case you haven't seen it, it's coming up here in a second, so you'll you'll have that opportunity. If you, if you have seen it already, we'll just go ahead and watch it again, or I'll rip out your larynx and chew on it like beef jerky as I watch you bleed out. Just fucking watch it! When you have a job to do But nobody's paying you Nearly enough Twenty dollars might seem cool, but it can't buy you new shoes or the actual fuck. So where do you turn? What would you do? Oh, if Calvin, your friend, never mentioned you this whole fucking time. All I wanted was some. Credit for my work and your subscribers love So Calvin, could you just this fucking once Credit me for my work, you fucking cunt